keep increasing the appetite for prayer in the lives of your people. Increase the appetite to pray. The appetite, Jehovah Father, to seek your face. In Jesus' mighty name. started on a series that I believe is helping us na ni mfululizo wa mafundisho yatatusaidia ili utoke kuwa a member of a church and become a son so you need to understand that there are members there are sons members can leave the church but sons don't leave I have been in deliverance now for more than 30 years because I'm a son, I'm not a member. So members can leave if another bigger church comes. If another ministry comes, Holy Spirit and Fire Ministries, a member can leave and join. Holy Ghost and Fire Ministries, International of Prayer and Intercession Ministries, they can move members. But sons stay. <laughs> So that is what we are learning here so that you may know, are you a son or you are a member? Are you are a son or are you a member? And the entire story, we get it, we can start from verse, uh, 1 Corinthians 4.17. 1 Corinthians chapter number 4 and verses 17. 1 Corinthians chapter 4.17. The Bible says, this is Paul is talking to the Corinthians about his own son. And he says, For this cause I have sent unto you Timotheus, who is my beloved son. My beloved son. Nime watumia kwenu, my beloved son, muanangu, mpendwa. My beloved son, number two, a faithful in the Lord. So nikasem hapa, Unapo ingia kwa the hebu kama ili. Wacha nisitumie jina kanisa. The hebu kama mountain of deliverance. Graduate. Learn to graduate and say now, I cease from being a member to a son in the house. Wana tukujwe sana. A member... Even if they found one seat facing the wrong direction, a member will not turn it around, but a son will turn the seat around. A member will see the windows open and people are leaving. He will also leave, but a son will come back and lock the windows. That is very, very crucial. A member is different from a son. So, Paul Anasema. Timotheo is my beloved son, and secondly, not just a son, a faithful son. We'll be looking at more of that when we are talking about loyalty, disloyalty, and also dangerous sons. Because we have dangerous sons. We also have sons who want what the father has. They go and waste it. Then they come back later when they have nothing. We have those kind of sons. We'll be looking at different kind of sons in the kingdom. Iliwe ujue. Uko upandigani. Today, actually this week, we have been having a conference at the Life Celebration Center. And always when I have something, I have to tell my father, I have this and this that I have bought for the ministry. I want to make sure that my father knows what is going on. I want you to look at the screen. <laughs> no, no. I have to tell my father, this is what is happening, this is what I did, and this is what we are doing. And the father is normally proud of that kind of a son. Sio mtoto anayefanya vitu chuchu chuchu huko chini kuhepa hepa. Ujui kama ni mkopo, ujui kama ni loan. Wakati atapata shida ni onakuja kutafuta baba. Uh, to go and tell daddy, 
we bought a van for the Oracle TV and I, I have to bring it first for dedication. Melewa. I cannot do things behind the back of my father. Il baba anaona gari barabarani. So, ile Oracle TV, ile ni mtoto wangu ama ni anani. So I have always to make my father know what is going on in this ministry. Because I'm not a member, I am a son. Many elewa. I am a son. I have to make sure that my father knows what is happening in my life, what is happening with my life, and what is happening with my family. Don't come to the father telling them, Ile ngombe ilikufa. Na hajui ni ngombe gani ilikufa. Kusabu kinunua hau kumuambia. Are you understanding? So there are things I don't hide. I tell my father this is what we are doing. This is what is happening at the mountain of deliverance. If anything happens, I would call him. I will speak to him and he can speak a word into my life. That is what makes a member of a church and a son different. Lazima ujue, huyu mchungaji ya simama hapa. Ni pasta wangu, ni baba yangu, ni nabi wangu, ama ni nani. Who is he to me? Yeye ni nani? Bishop Mark to me is a father. Na nilisema hapa, Father is the highest title in the world. It is above an apostle. Because Jesus said, when you pray, say, <laughs> he didn't say, when you pray, say, our prophet which art in heaven. Uh -uh. God is not a prophet. God is not an apostle. God has the highest title in the universe. His title is a father. That word father means the source, the provider, the protector. One who guides, one who gives direction. Iyo ni kitu cha maana sana. Na ukakuta mtu yote kule inje. The first thing, whichever church they go, ask them, who is your pastor? Who is your father in the Lord? That is very, very important. That is very, especially in the Kenya we are living in. Majina wa chungaji mearibiwa inafanywa nini, inafanywa kila kitu. But... Once a father, forever a father. Bwana tukujwe sana. Once a father, forever a father. Somebody say, I hear you. So Paul is saying that I have a son who is number one, faithful. He's a faithful son. So what we don't have in the ministries are what we call faithful sons. We don't have faithful sons. And sons are not just born, they are born, trained, and they are mentored. They are mentored. So when Jesus, let's look at uh, Matthew chapter 4 from verse 18. Matthew 4, 18 and 19. In Matthew 4, 18, and Jesus walking by the sea of Galilee, so two brethren, Two brothers, Simeon called Peter and Andrew his brother. So nakuta katika huduma ya isu kulikuwa na watu wa wili ndugu. So the problem is when a ministry, the pastor is the pastor, the wife is the one playing keyboard, the son plays the drums, the daughter leads praise and worship, that is a problem in Kenya. Whereas Moses is a visionary, Aaron is a prophet, Miriam is a worship leader, and people didn't have a problem with that. But if they are not serving with the father, that is the joy of many. Wale ni watoto wa pastor. Hamtaki wa serve na pastor na baba yao, munataka wawe inje wa kilewa. So we need to change that perspective to badilishe hiyo kwanza kabisa. Bwana tukuzwe sana. It will be my joy to see Elder Kamau is an elder in this church. The wife is an usher. The daughter is in the choir. The, other, the whole family is in the church. Why should we be envious when we see something like that? We should be happy that the whole that is what Joshua said. Me and my family 
we shall serve the Lord. I don't know about you, but for me and my house, me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. So let's come out of membership and be sons. Sons don't fight. Only members are the ones who fight. Sons don't fight. But we'll see sons who fought in the Bible. Because even Joseph was sold by his own brothers. <laughs> Why? Eh, that is called family rivalry. Uadui wa kinyumbani, wawana. Lakini huu haianzi now, nikosabu there is a missing link. But we'll see that later on. Uh, walking in the Sea of Galilee, akawona ndugu wawili. Simon called Peter, Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea uh, for they were fishers. Walikuwa ni wavuvi. Aliona ndugu wawili. So walikuwa nafanyia baba yao kazi ya uvuvi. So the Bible says, verse number 19, and he said unto them, follow me. That word follow me is very, very important. Follow me. Follow me. Bwana atukuzwe sana. Follow me. And as you follow me, I will make you fishers of men. These people followed Jesus for three good years. But somebody does not want to go to the new converts even for one month. They don't want that. They don't want to go for probation even for three months. I were trained one year. This is how we do ushering. This is how the choir is. This is what goes on here. Join a home church. It is a platform of training. Follow me and I will make you. So for three years, the disciples of Jesus followed him so that he may make them. How? By teaching them, by mentoring them. Teaching and mentoring. And in the end of three years, he commissioned them. He commissioned them. So following is very, very important. Following. It is not easy to follow. For 30 something years, I'm still following my father. Even when problems increase, I'm still clinging to him. Because there are many fathers, but one is your father. You can't have 10 fathers. You can't have 10 fathers. So it is very, very crucial that the act of following, 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 very, very crucial. Somebody say, I hear you. And we said here, following gives you inheritance. That is in Numbers 14, 24. In Numbers 14, 24, look at one of the men who followed. And God said about him, but my servant Caleb, because he had another spirit with him and has followed me fully, followed me fully. He has followed me fully. Caleb has followed me fully. In other words, there are people who are not mentioned here. People like Korah, Dathan, and Abiram, they are not mentioned. They didn't follow Moses fully. Actually, they rose against Moses. But this one, the Bible says, he had another spirit. What is this spirit? If you're writing right, this another spirit is called a teachable spirit. Teachable spirit. He had a teachable spirit. Secondly, another spirit. He had a submissive spirit. Thirdly, he had a disciplined spirit. Akitum wendam kaspai the land, he would go faithfully. Disciplined spirit. He had a humble spirit. That's what it means, another spirit. It does not mean he had an evil spirit because another spirit can be an evil spirit. But now looking at this, another spirit, a spirit that is teachable, a spirit that is submissive to the authority. That is the uh, characteristic of a son. He has followed me fully. Him will I bring to the land wherein he went uh, with his seed, I will uh, uh, to possess it. Very important. So Caleb had another spirit, a teachable spirit, 
a spirit of humility, submission, and discipline of the highest level. And in the end, in Joshua 14, 11, we see him getting his possession. Joshua 14, 11, and 12. His confession was, as yet as I am strong this day as I was in the day Moses sent me. Moses is already dead, but he has a testimony. I followed fully. I had a teachable spirit. And even after Moses is gone, I am still as strong as I was. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now to go both to walk, to go out and come in. This is a testimony of Caleb at 85. And he says, now, give me this mountain. Give me my inheritance. I have followed fully. And any time you follow fully, you cannot lose your inheritance. I'm telling you. You will not lose your inheritance. 14, it says, come to verse 14. Following fully. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb. Many died in the wilderness. They never got to the promised land. So Caleb's inheritance became Hebron. The son of Jephne, the Kenizek. And to this day, because he wholly followed the Lord. Si kufuata mungu na roho nusu nusu. Leo uko home church, leo hauko. Uko hapa, uko hapa. You are available. You are not available. Unapatikana tu wakati kuna emergency. No other meeting you can be found. Very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. Bwana atukujwe sana. When we are growing up, the life celebration center, all of us as sons, it reached a point we now began to move out. We are stationed in different places. One of the sons, he had grown and left. He found us there one day after he had left, he came visiting. And this is what he told us. Badum na udanganyo na huyu mark. Badum na udanganyo na huyu mark. Do you know where he is now in the grave? He's rotting in the grave. That person who told us that. Badum na fuata fuata huyu mark na wadanganya. Today he's dead. <laughs> you don't joke with some graces. Today he's, and he left his church. And the wife took the church. And the wife now is a bishop. The bishop of that church. <laughs> Anointing you don't honor, it can disgrace you. It can disgrace you, I'm telling you the truth. Ah, yeah. Hebron therefore became. So no one can miss their inheritance when they follow holy. Following will give you also the impossibles. The impossible. Four times, Elisha disobeyed Elijah. Four times. <laughs> Four times, Elisha disobeyed Elijah. Second Kings chapter 2. Let's start from there. Second Kings 2, 9. And it came to pass... When they were gone over that Elijah said unto Elisha, ask what I shall do for you. Ask what I shall do for you. If you go a little bit further backwards, you'll see where this statement came from. Let's begin from uh, one there and see the story that follows. Because you can't reach there before you have started a journey. Kabla umuliza unataka nini, inamanisha mulianza safari mahali fulani. And it came to pass when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind, that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. It is a starting point, Gilgal. And this is what happened. Elijah said to Elisha, Stay here, tarry here, I pray. For the Lord has sent me to Bethel. And Elisha said, and to him, as the Lord liveth, and as I so liveth, I will not leave you. And I'll be a kahapa, and I say, Masikai. Kahapa, Sikai. Why? It reaches, even right now, if the bishop tells me, Francis, you are no longer a pastor here. Atanikuta kwake nikiosha viombo. Huh? 
atanikuta kwake nikiosha gari yake why as long as he is my father and that is what peter told jesus where else can we go and you have the word of life i'm telling you akamwambia sikuachi sikuachi i can't leave you there are people god connects you never leave them they are the ladder to your destiny i'm telling you they are the ladder to your destiny don't ignore them usiwapuze you can miss your destiny by missing the person god has sent in your life you can miss it very easily you can be wasted outside there unazunguka unazunguka kumbe yule alikuwa na paswa kukupeleka kwa hatima yako ulimwacha alimwambia sikuachi and he was not the only one there were, uh, was also other who are called the sons of the prophets kulikuwa na wana wa manabii lakini elisha alichagua and we know the story of elisha elisha hakuwa kwa shule ya wanabii yeye alikuwa mkulima he was not even in the school of the prophet he was a farmer na kama hangekutana na elijah angekufa mkulima namba 1 So why do you die mkulima number one, out of your destiny? <laughs> you can die mkulima number one, lakini umekufa out of your destiny. Whoever you are supposed to meet in life, you never met. And let me say this not with pride or anything. This is the worst time to leave the mountain of deliverance. This is the worst time when God is elevating us, but it is also the good time for leaders to live kusa kuna levo hatutafika tukiwa na members levo inaendagwa na sons manielewa levels inaendagwa na sons and that is what many of us don't understand following my father bishop it was not easy but i knew what i wanted in this man of god we had been at loggerhead some days back some years back <laughs> we were going to embu and the message i got tell francis not to come to embu hey jesus christ tulikuwa nimepitana vibaya sana nilipoambiwa hivyo tell him not to appear in embu in my meeting hey nyumba yote ilijaa baridi nikasema hakuna kitu kama hiyo got my sacrifice got my wife into my car six eight were in his office in Nairobi nilipeleka gari whether ni shikwe ni sishikwe na polisi nikute zile mishale wanaweka njia nitatoboa nitaripea gari baadaye i wanted to land in his office before he came by eight were in his office and i didn't want to negotiate anything i got myself into my pocket and we knelt down receive our sacrifices papa whatever he wanted to do evaporated and he said can you go to embu today you will take the meeting i'll not be there <laughs> are you understanding there is something you can do to your father na ufurahie hiyo baraka and if i didn't go to nairobi things would have worsened so can you put you are life in order with your father i'm telling you the truth i'm telling i will never want to be in that state again that day even my children knew something has happened even my children knew something has gone wrong everything was haywire in the house una kunywa chai unasikia ina sukari unawacha breakfast naambia mko wako ingia kwa hii gari in the next one and a half hours we are supposed to be in Nairobi yes why you can't fight elijah and you're just an elisha elisha atakula kama ana itisha moto kutoka binguni anachoma watu who are you bwana tukuzwe sana that is very very crucial and the church in kenya doesn't know that the church in kenya is outside the truth of the word of god how i lay with it kama hivyo Listen. Amaambia keti hapa I am going some akamwambia as the lord your god lives sikuachi. Yeah. Sikuachi. There are people you cannot leave. Hata kuwe maisha ngumu kuna watu huwezi acha. They are your destiny connectors 
and they are also your divine helpers. They are your divine helpers. If Orpa, unajua Orpa, kama Orpa angefuatana na Ruth na Naomi, hata yeye angeolewa Moab. If she decided I will also follow Ruth, hata mimi sibaki, lakini aliamua kubaki Moab. Ruth akasema, your God shall be my God. Your people shall be my people. And where you die, that's where I'll die. If Opa did that, alikata kauli ya inaio, hata ya ngeolewa Bethlehem. But she ignored. You know me, buwana yake mekufa, watoto wake mekufa, nifuate fuate mtu wa mefuato na kifo. She changed her mind and said, watch a mini back in Moab. You don't hear about Orpa again. But you can open in this book and find a book called Ruth. Amenielewa. <laughs> I your destiny helper will put you in the book of records. Amenielewa. Your helper ndio atakuweka in the Guinness book of records. Unakosa jina langu lakini jina lako lina feature it features. And where your name will feature ah I love this. Wakati Goliath aliuawa na Daudi. Walimuuliza nini swali ya kwanza? Whose son are you? <laughs> when So kitu cha kwanza every ushindi utapata it is connected to your father. Your victory is connected to your Kama baba yako hange kutuma upeleke chakula, haungeua Goliath. I'm telling you the truth. Hawa kumuuliza, ai na wewe ulisomea shule gani? Uh-uh. Hii mambo ya vita kurusha mawe ulitoa wapi? Uh-uh. Walimuuliza, whose son are you? So your victory is connected to your father. I'm telling you the truth. Your victory, the Goliath you'll have to kill in life, your father contributed. So usijigambe. Uh-uh. Usijigambe. Ushindi wako uko connected na baba yako na usiwaisa hao hiyo. Walimuuliza who is your father? Whose son is this? Whose sons is this? Hebu angalia pia Saul. <laughs> Alipotiwa mafuta na akaanza kuprofesai ikawa ni medhali is also Saul among the prophets. Si huyu baba yake ni Kish. We know the father. Is this not the son of Kish? So kila kitu natenda kinahusishwa na baba yako. Awe ni baba yako mzazi ama baba wako wa kiroho. Never forget that. So jump out of that list of being a member to a son. Hiyo ndio itakupeleka mbali. Whose son is this? Hawakuuliza which member or whose member is this? Anaenda kanisa wapi? Whose son is this? That is the most important thing. Higher to endele. In the next verse, Elijah said, okay, the sons of the prophets that were at Bethel, they came forth to Elisha. They came forth to Elisha and said to him, do you know that your master will be taken away today? Did you know that your master will leave you? Unajua kwamba hii huduma ya baba yako itakwisha, anaenda. Look at what. And he said, yes, I know it. In another translation, to put in another translation. I know it, but shut up. Be quiet. Don't tell me about it. Be quiet about it. I know it. Verse 4. Says, and Elisha said to him, tarry here, I pray for thee. The Lord has sent me to Jericho. The Lord has sent me to Jericho. Somebody say following. That is what people are lacking in Kenya. Following. Following. Paul says follow me as I follow. So even me, there is somebody I'm following. So I'm not just going blindly. Follow me as I follow. The day I stop following my mentor. Na ukute pale inje kibawi mebadilishwa. Mountain of thunder. Hey, Apo Mulize, Pastor, what happened today? It's not the mountain of, it's the mountain of thunder and lightning. 
Iyo, chukua simu, tafuta bishop. Mwambi, hey bishop. Kwani ministry mebadilishwa majina? Silikuwa mountain of deliverance. Isa tumekuta asubuhi ya leo. Mountain of thunder. <laughs> Wana tukushwe sana. The day I stop following my father, you stop following me also. Because I may have lost the direction. Am I talking to somebody? The day I stop following my father, it means something is wrong. That is why in my identity card's name, kuna jina ya baba mzazi. Ni wa mama tu na ladies, they are allowed to remove the names of their father. Hey, Jesus Christ, that is dangerous. Unatoa jina ya baba yako, unachukua jina ya mtu ametoka kiambu na weka kwa kitambulisho yako. Na umujui. Unamua tutaishi na we, nimefuta hiyo jina ya baba yangu. Nimetoa jina ya kangethe, ninaweka njoroge. Hey, women risk. They are great riskers. They risk. They take somebody's name, wanatoa ya baba yao. Lakini mimi, siwezi toa jina ya baba yangu mzazi. Ina remain forever. Are you understanding? Why? Because I have the genes of the father. So I as the Lord thy God lives here. Sikuachi. Wameenda baka Jericho. Aha, after Jericho. He said, stay here. <laughs> the sons of the prophet again were memchalich at Jericho. And said, do you know that your master will be taken away ahead of this day? Aha. Uh -huh. And he answered, yes, I know. Hold your peace. Shut up. So in the way of following... Kuna watu watakuwa na kuuliza maswali. Unajua hii ministry si hii maombi inaomba ngo hapa si mzuri. Unajua hii kanisa inaweza kuwa ni Illuminati. You will find people as you follow discouraging you telling you things about this church. I'm telling you the truth. There are people who will discourage you, tell you how you are not supposed to be here, to tell you why you should not follow this ministry. They have all the reasons. You will find a lot of criticism, a lot of distraction. Why are you following this man? Do you know that this ministry is dying? Why are you following? Nai alikuwa na ju, I know what I'm following. I know what I'm following. Verse number seven. Wamefikia Jordan. Fifty men of the sons of the prophets went as to to view afar of Bada wamevuka Jordan. Wamekaribia Jordan. Aha. And Elijah took his mantle. Amechukua ile manto yake. This was a great man. Amechukua ile manto yake. Amesimama mbele ya Jordan. Look at that. He smote the waters. Papap! Na maji ya kafunguka. They passed in the dry land. Na river ikafunga. Bada wamepita. This was a unique man of God. Very unique. Walipo vuka. Ngambo nyingine ya Jericho. Ndi wakangalia ukijana. Verse number nine, that's what we are looking at. Ask what I shall do for you. In other words, the person you follow in life, they have what you need to take you to the next level. They have what it takes to live after they have gone. Ask what I shall give you. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit. Not many people say double portion of your anointing. It's not anointing. It says double portion of thy spirit. And Caleb had another spirit. That's what we are talking about. I would want the kind of a spirit you have. And the spirit he's talking about is a spirit of signs, miracles, and wonders. The spirit of courage. Look at that. I, that is what I want upon me. And as we are talking, hey, look at that. And as they are talking, he said, you have asked a hard thing. Even the sons of the prophet, nobody has ever asked me that. You have asked a hard thing. Following, number two, gives you impossible things. Following gives you impossible things. He followed Elijah for a long time. Keep following even in difficult times. And things that are not achievable will be achievable. 
until you follow, you will never know how life can be easy for you. Look at that. And when now Elisha, they're just conversing. They have asked a hard thing. But when you see me taken from you, it shall be yours. But if not, you will be like the sons of the prophet. Utarudi tu kwa shule ya manabi. Na usipo rudi kwa shule ya manabi, utarudi kwa baba yako kulima. Lakini ukiona ni kiondoshwa, then it will be yours. And then it came to pass as they still went on. Somebody say following. <laughs> as they kept on walk, uh, talking and walking, ha, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire. Those are some of the chariots that will be escorting Jesus when he's coming down here. When Jesus, on the trumpet will sound, that is some of the horses you'll see coming on the air or coming in the air. Aha. Uh -huh. Farasi na magari ya moto, it parted them asunder and Elijah went up by a whirlwind. Na kaenda. And as that was happening, hey, look at this. Elisha saw it. This is very, very important. He saw it. And he cried. What did he cry? Can I hear you say again? One, two, three. Why didn't he say, my prophet, my prophet? Uh -uh. Fatherhood is the highest title. So he is not my prophet. He is my father. Then the prophetic follows. He cried, my father, my father, the chariots of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more. So what he only took hold was the clothes. He ran them into two pieces. Lakini akachukua the mantle. Go to the next verse. He took up the mantle of Elijah that fell from him. Elijah didn't need the mantle in heaven. So ilipo anguka, Elisha took it. He picked it immediately. Uh-huh. Go, go back to verse 13. And went back and stood at the bank of Jordan. Akasimama kwa ile Jordan. Mali walipita. Now follow me. He took the mantle of Elijah that fell on him and smote the waters and he said, Where is the God of Elijah? Where is the God of Elijah? The God in whose mantle I am holding today. So there are miracles that will only obey you because your father passed there before. Ah, uh, kuna mambo yatakuti kwa sababu baba yako ameshawahi kupitia hapo siku moja. Hiyo ni kumaanisha if your father has built a house you can also build a house because he has passed that way. Where is the God of my father? My building as I start it will not stop because my father has gone through that road. Very very important. He struck the water and provoked the God of his father. And what happened? When he had smitten the water, they parted on either way, hither and hither, and Elisha passed over. He didn't part his, or hit his chest. That is a problem of young pastors who are coming up. Just chasing one demon, they go and start their own churches. Just casting one demon here, Homa. And then in Afungua ministry, the deliverance healing ministries international. Just because I tore one demon. He didn't hit his chest. Uh -uh. Look at that. And when the sons of the prophets, which were to view him at Jericho, wale wana wamanabi, walipo muona, they said, the spirit of Elijah does rest on Elisha. This was a visible power. It is a visible power that what is happening in this woman, I can see the spirit of the oracle at work. Yes. Nobody prays like this except the oracle. You can be able to be identified by people because of your fatherhood. Kwa sababu ya mahali umetoka. Mahali, the source of your power come from. 
Very important. Following gives you the impossible. Bwana tukuzwe sana. Listen to this also. In 2 Kings 3, 11, it will also broadcast you. Following, it will broadcast you. Itakutangaza. Panatukuzwe sana. I've washed these toilets. Maji, Nigeria, Nafagia, Anne is my witness. Naingia huku naosha hizi cho. Zikiwa hapa hapa. And that does not reduce my anointing. Actually, that is where anointing increases. Bwana tukuzwe sana. Lakini kuna members, not sons. When a member goes to a toilet na ikute ikiwa chafu. Wani church. Ay, 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 ay. Satu wakanyaga wapi huku. But a son. How is it in bay view? Atatafuta maji na kifagio kwanza afagie. Lakini member. Atajishikilia huko. Pite. Aingia funge mulango. Hey, Jesus, that's a member. But a son will make sure that what water in here, kabla hajaosha. Hey, you are man. Pastor, kuosha chow, nie dahika kahenya muno. Nie no dahike. Hey, servanthood is a price you pay. It is a price you pay. Bona tukuzwe sana. It's a price of servanthood. Somebody say, I hear you. Ah, yeah. Following will give you voice and authority. Voice and authority. Able to angalia Deuteronomy 34 verse 9. Deuteronomy 34 verse 9. Then we'll have time to pray. In a hivi, and Joshua, the son of Nun. Na tunakumbuka ni Joshua na Caleb waliingia inchi ya hadi. Caleb and Joshua. So Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom. Why? Moses had laid his hands upon him. Number three. And the children of Israel hearkened him. Wana wa Israel walimskiliza. So kuna maene uneza enda na watu wakose kukuskiliza. Because the spirit of Moses is not upon Joshua. But when the spirit of Moses is upon Joshua, na memwekelea mkono, watu watamskiliza. People will listen to you. Uh -huh. They hearkened unto him and did as the Lord commanded Moses. Why are people now hearkening to Joshua? Because he also hearkened to Moses. People will listen to you because you have also been taught how to listen. You have been taught also how to listen. So what walimskiza, number one kwa sababu, Musa alimwekelea mkono, akapata roho wa hekima. Somebody say wisdom. Every man of God needs wisdom to communicate to the sheep. To communicate to the sheep. Almuambia, na kuekelea mikono ndiyo watu watakusikia. We'll look at the other 70 elders. Mungu alisema, look for 70 elders who are able, who are in, have integrity. And I will take the spirit that is in you and I will put it in all the 70. So the ability of Moses was the ability of 70 people. Alikuwa naongoza kama watu sabini. So mungu wakawambia pana, nitatua roho alie ndani yako, niweke ndani ya watu sabini ili muongoze pamoja. Very important. Before you find somebody you are going to the, with the right direction, it's very hard. Passing over even the baton or passing your spirit to the next person is difficult. And that is why even we normally say retired President Moy, he was very wise. He said, I, I can't give leadership to a friend. Saitot is my friend. Kamoda is my friend, but I can't give them leadership because they are my age mates. I'll only give to a young person. 
Bwana atukuzwe sana. Who will go to the next generation? I'll give to a younger generation. I want to pass my spirit to a younger generation. Very, very important. Israel hearkened and to obey Joshua as he had obeyed Moses. So following gave Joshua the voice to be heard. Ilimpatia sauti ya kusikika. Iyo tukufuata. Just that. But, if you look at Elisha, his follower, that was Gehazi. That's when we'll talk about dangerous sons. Dangerous sons. Elisha never passed his anointing to Gehazi. Because he was moved with the last of the things of the world. Alitamani sana hongo. Vitu ambavyo baba yake anakataa yeye anaenda kuitisha. And what he gets destroyed his life and his entire family. Aliambiwa ukoma wanaman utakushika wewe na uzao wako. So don't follow a person and end up getting leprosy. Don't follow a person and end up getting leprosy. Very dangerous. Follow somebody because of the grace they command. The grace they carry. And you will enjoy the same grace. Amen. Let's stand up together and have a few minutes of prayer before we leave. In Jesus mighty name. We will build up on that next Wednesday. Put your hands above your heads. Let's, let's give the Lord a clap offering in Jesus' mighty name. <laughs> celebrate, celebrate, celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord in Jesus' name. Just open up your mouth. Somebody tell God, thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. Thank you for speaking to me, Jehovah. Thank you, Jehovah Father. Riko shata yanda la bababa. Reka zakata yanda la bababa mama mama zai. Reka zakata yanda bababa mama zai. Yende rebe bebe be zai karama mama mama zai. Give me a teachable spirit, my father. A spirit that is humble and hair. Yes, that is teachable. A spirit with the discipline, my father. Father, I thank you for the teaching and the revelation of your word. We thank you, our father. We bless you. We worship you. Train us to follow, to follow. Train us to follow our God. Somebody just tell God, help me to follow the grace. The grace you have bestowed upon this mountain, our Father. Let me have a submissive heart, spirit, in the name of Jesus. To reap the benefits of following, in the mighty name of Jesus. Riko Zakatayanda. May, me, may I be a beneficiary of the grace that my Father carries. May I benefit from the grace that my Father carries in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me enjoy the grace that my Father carries in the name of Jesus Christ. I will enjoy the grace my Father carries, O oh God. The grace that will give me an inheritance. The grace that will give me a voice in the name of Jesus. Riko Zakatayanda la Bababa Mazai. Eko Zanda la Bababa Zai. May the grace, my Father, the grace that I follow, give me an inheritance. Give me a voice. Give me a voice. Give me a double portion. The grace that I follow will never disgrace me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Where I have gone astray, Jehovah, I ask for your mercy. Where I have gone astray, I plead your forgiveness. Where I have undermined the grace you have put over my life. Where I have despised the grace, I ask for your mercy. Forgiveness, my Father. The grace that I follow will never disgrace me. In the name of Jesus, I honor, I appreciate the grace above my life. Even the privilege to serve the grace above my life. Give me the spirit, the heart of a servant, the heart of servanthood, the heart of servanthood in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Riko Zatayanda la Baba Baba Mazai. Yes, Katayanda. Lebra Zoko Shetayanda la Baba Baba Mazai. Yes, Lord, give us, give us the ability to follow the grace that will benefit our lives. Lord, we are planted in the house and we shall be like the tree of Lebanon. We shall be like the palm trees, oh God. 
that are never moved. We are planted in the house in the name of Jesus Christ. We are in the house today with a purpose in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that every man and every woman in the house transform. Give them, Jehovah, the ability. Give them the patience to transition from members to sons. From members to sons in the name of Jesus. It takes patience. It takes patience in our lives, oh God, to transition from membership to sonship in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I decree the blessing. I decree the blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh yes, Lord. Let's lift our hands together. Father, I pray as we await for Sunday services and our weekday meetings, we decree the blessing over this altar in the name of Jesus. We speak the blessings of God upon our services on Sunday, the first service, the second service, and even the third service, our Father. Draw men and women to yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. You have planted us in this city at such a time as this with a purpose in the name of Jesus. Draw men and women to yourself, Jehovah. The doctors, the lawyers, the, any man or woman, businessmen and women that have not yet known Jesus as Lord, draw them to yourself in the city in the name of Jesus. We command a blessing over the viewers of the Oracle Television Network. To our bariki watazamaji wote wa Oracle Television Network. Mahali popote walipo na kuru na Nairobi. Tumenena baraka zako Jehovah. Juu ya maisha yao katika jina la Yesu Christo. Every meeting held on this mountain Jehovah Lord. It shall bear fruits of testimonies in the lives of your people in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree the blessing for the congregation in Nairobi. Those who gather every Thursday in Nairobi, we decree your blessing upon their lives. They will enjoy the same grace we command on this mountain in Akuru. To the glory and for the honor of your name. Father, we are grateful. We are glad we came today. We are grateful. We are glad we came today. Empower us with the same revelation that will stick into our hearts to bear fruit in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless each one of us. We are blessed in the city and in the country. The work of our hands is blessed. Our families are blessed. Our children are blessed. And even our spouses are blessed. We celebrate your faithfulness in Jesus' mighty name. We celebrate your faithfulness, our Father. We celebrate your faithfulness in this mountain. We, shall, we thank you, our Father. We thank you, we thank you for our county of Nakuru. We thank you for our nation. We bless our president. We bless the deputy president. We bless our governor, our MCAs, our speaker in the county. We bless the entire leadership of our county to the glory and honor of your name. We thank you for the rain. Thank you for the rain, our Father. Shower even more rain over the nation that we may have a bumper harvest. We may have a bumper harvest. We are grateful. We are grateful. We thank you and we honor you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, somebody shouted, Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a better hand of appreciation. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So shall it be. In Jesus' name.